We on the phone, Jennifer Boutros. Now, Jennifer, you, you live in Wrightwood, and we understand you had a friend who had been evacuated from Lake Arrowhead just a few days ago. She was staying with you, and now you are both evacuated. I'm just going to say, well, I guess the good news is you're not alone, both of you, but, but tell us what happened. So my friend was evacuated from the line fire. Um, she is currently under evacuation warning, but the smoke was too bad for her and her pets to stay in their home. They left, came over to my house a couple of days ago, and we felt okay. I had called into the Wrightwood Fire Department uh, asking about the bridge fire. It was only under 5,000 acres, and nobody mm -hmm. seemed concerned. And all of a sudden, in an hour and a half, it was 34,000 acres. Yeah. And I turned around to go home, and I wasn't able to make it home. But thankfully, my friend who was evacuated was there. She was able to get our pets mm. and get a couple of pieces of clothing, and that's it. Um, we're, we're down the hill here over in Yukaipa, and we're hopefully not going to be evacuated from you type up because the fire is coming down from Forest Falls as well. Got you. And um, tell us about the conditions. You said you were not able to go back home. And when your friend left the home after getting the, the pets and whatever she could gather, what were the conditions like at that point? So I did make it up the 138. Um, visibility was mediocre on the 138. But on her way out, she was sending me photos. Um, it was brown and orange, uh, the air was thick, and you could just see it was almost the color of ash. Um, mm -hmm. It's pretty scary up there right now, right? It's a really small town, mm -hmm. and everybody's absolutely terrified because we never got any ready, set, go. We just went from... 4,777 acres up to 34,000 plus acres in one hour and were told to leave and there was there was nothing we had no warning and we're not really sure how it went from 5,000 acres to 35,000 acres in one hour and we're feeling a little bit nervous about how it happened. Well, I mean, we've heard uh, some stories tonight um, that are, are, are not so nice, Jennifer, about how some of these fires have started, unfortunately. Um, I want to make sure you hold on here because I'm going to ask our Mike Rogers. He's at the desk right now. Jennifer and her friend are in Yukaipa. Yeah. Um, what does it look like there, Mike? Well, you know, I was just actually kind of looking at that as Jennifer was talking. And, and yeah, you know, Yukaipa is okay at the moment. But as, as Jennifer mentioned, the, the line fire is... Um, you know, kind of burning back in towards that direction. Uh, and actually, the, the area of Forest Falls, which, if, I, if I'm correct, I don't think is terribly far from Yukaipa, uh, looks like they're under a mandatory evacuation order now as well. Actually, it looks like that just popped up. So, uh, Yukaipa is, is a bit of a distance. Jennifer, are you in kind of the middle of Yukaipa, or are you more on the northern end? Jennifer, are you still with this? Do we still have Jennifer on the phone? Oh, okay, it sounds like we may have lost her, but... Okay, that's why I wanted her to hear yeah. what you had to say. That's why I asked you that question. And hopefully, um, you know, they said they didn't get a ready, set, go. And, and you know, Pat, I wanted to, to talk about that. That's now the fourth person mm -hmm. uh, that has told us tonight in the Wrightwood area that this went from nothing to hurry up and get out now, hmm. um, which, is, which is unusual. The fire albeit is, is started Sunday. It's not, you know, I, I know that it made very significant growth uh, over the last couple, you know, really today, those last couple of hours. But I, I am a little surprised to hear a lot of people say that they didn't get uh, a better heads up than, okay, now go. There was no, it doesn't sound like, at least from their stories here, evacuation warnings mm. that were maybe in place prior to this. It was just hurry up and get out. Well, you know what, uh, that being said, then we hope that uh, Jennifer and everyone else um, that's on the mountain is, is, is paying attention yeah. and hopefully trying to have some kind of um, communication where they can see and hear what's going on. And hopefully the sheriff's uh, department is going around with the evacuation orders. But if not, like that gentleman that called and said he yeah. had Wi-Fi at his house, right. he was able to see his home in Wrightwood, even though he was in Palmdale. So he had an idea. He's watching what's going on. So we certainly hope that uh, Jennifer and everyone else in U Ukaipa and elsewhere yeah. is able to get some information. I'm glad they got out and hopefully that uh, things will 
calm down a bit tonight, we hope. Yeah, and really shows you kind of the magnitude of what we're dealing with, that there are yeah. so many different areas of our region right now that are dealing with this and dealing with those fires. And the resilience of, we, of the people we've talked to in Wrightwood, uh, really using community Facebook groups, right? Mm -hmm. Having somebody else go check, and that's how they were making decisions that they should leave.